So guys, this morning, taking right out of the playbook of Robbie from United by Trucks, we are going to do a what's in your driveway, and it's gonna be something very unique that you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on. So usually what Robbie does when he does his what's in your driveway series is he shows off a vehicle or a truck uh, that one of his viewers has or somebody that he knows has or something really special that they want to show off and this particular truck is no different and it's arguable to some people what it actually is but in this particular case it looks like a car but it has a truck body you guys have probably come pretty close to guessing it by now a lot of you are going to say well it's either an el camino or a ranchero well most of you would be wrong ladies and gentlemen let's take a look at what we're talking about here today what we have here is a 1977 GMC Sprint now I know you guys have heard that name in the past and although it looks like an El Camino you've got to remember in the Chevrolet dealers of the day, Chevrolet truck series did not have this car to sell unless they rebadged it as a Sprint. This is titled as a 77 Sprint and it has a few kind of quirky features that a lot of vehicles, or that, that you don't see in a lot of vehicles today. So we're gonna jump right into that, but first we're gonna take a look around the outside, we're gonna pop the hood and then we'll get to the inside of the vehicle. So at first glance, yes, you've got the double headlights of the Chevelles of the day. Now, granted, yes, it is a GMC. And as we look down the side, it is missing a piece of chrome trim on the uh, passenger side door, but no big deal. I'm sure that something like that should be fairly easy to find if it's the same trim as the El Camino. It does have the Chevrolet rally rims, but what it's actually here for at my shop today is for a provincial safety inspection and he's got some new wheels and tires to put on this car. As we come around to the back side of course you'll notice that the uh, glass kind of tapers up a little bit here in the back because of the sloping lines of the El Camino slash GMC Sprint and, and we come into the back and you'll see a very clean box side. Roll around back and we do see the dual tailpipe sticking out the back and the Hellraiser license plate on this particular vehicle. And we're about to find out if this truly is a Hellraiser because we will take it for a drive once we get the wheels and tires on it. You see, as it sits right now, we do have a flat. These tires have been sitting on this vehicle for many, many years and they're dry rotted and will barely hold air. He made it the 18 miles from his home to here and here it sits uh, with a flat tire very reminiscent of the El Camino um, there's not a whole lot different to say other than the fact that it is badged and titled as a GMC Sprint let's hop on into the inside and take a look so obviously the first thing that you're going to notice is this swivel driver's seat this makes the seat or it makes it easier for the driver to get in and out of the vehicle the other thing that you'll notice is the spare tire is behind the driver's seat and what i can see kind of laying here in the back is the passenger side door trim so guess what he doesn't have to go looking for that and again as we hop into the inside we've got everything basically reminiscent of a chevelle of that day Not a lot of headroom for someone as tall like me, and well, the owner, he's, he's a big boy too, so as we spin around in this driver's seat, it should lock in, which it did, and uh, we've got an automatic transmission. It is an air-conditioned vehicle, so I'm not sure if the AC works. We'll pop the hood and we'll take a look. From what I can tell, the interior is really nice. We look at the door panels and uh, they're not marked up too bad. They're not sun faded very bad. We come over to the driver's side. We do have a little bit of, you know, marks over here from the seat belt, kind of scratching up that door panel. Other than that, everything seems to be intact and the entire vehicle 
looks amazing. So this thing's been sitting here all night. Let's see if we can get this puppy started up on the first try. Key buzzer works. Give her a pump. Not too bad. Might need a carb tune. I know a guy. Anyways, let's pop the hood, see what's under there. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say this looks like a 305. According to the sticker, it says 350, 400 cubic inch. But we'll have to get it up in the air and see for sure just what the motor is. All the AC lines are intact. Uh, the clutch is not kicking on. I'm not sure if that works, but it's a very similar setup to what's on old Dale the truck. After all, it is a 1977. Other than the exhaust being a little bit uh, leaky, uh, it does seem to have a few, uh, it does seem to idle really, really good. So once we get this thing through an inspection and get some tires on it, we'll take it for a drive. So it is now Friday. We've got the, I almost said El Camino, but the, we got the GMC Sprint in here with the new wheels and tires and the customer opted to go with the same torque thrust twos that I've got on old Dale. Let's take a look. And there you go guys, a classic look on a classic car and I don't think you can go wrong with those American Port Trust 2s. We've got a little bit of work left to do to it, nothing major, but uh, we're going to get back in and uh, tune up on that a little bit. As you can see, it was stalling a bit with the uh, throttle, but nevertheless, what a good looking car. We'll keep you up to date. Okay, so we are in the GMC Sprint. We're going to get ready to take this thing for a little ride and just see how she handles. We got a little bit of a brake issue fix that we had with it, which was the front calipers were, well, for the most part, a little bit seized up. So we got them so that they would bleed, and now she works pretty good. We're going to take it for a test drive, make sure it's not pulling left and right. So why don't you guys come along? Seems like the timing is off a little bit when she goes to start. She's a little slow and whirly. Um, but as far as the way this thing handles, I mean, it, it actually handles like a dream. This is a big car based on a car platform. You'd never know that you had the truck body in the back. So there are no cars behind me. I'm gonna try the brakes here and make sure that we're not pulling one way or the other. She nose dives pretty good. There's something to be said for these old 70s vehicles. I've owned plenty of them. I still own two of them. Uh, this one being a friend's, knowing full well that I may get to drive it again someday. But uh, it's got some updated wheels and tires on it and it still has that classic look. And I think he's getting pretty anxious to get home. He's a truck driver. So uh, he's getting pretty anxious to get home and get driving this thing once again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a drive and this little bit of a tour around this 1977. GMC Sprint. So guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Old Car Guy and uh, we've got some good stuff coming up on Car Guy and Six Fan Show. I hope you guys can tune into that on Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern. And that's with my co-host Grant Tommy, uh, who is straight Six Fan. We have a lot of fun, but just a bunch of guys talking cars and occasionally we have guests and last week we had Dylan McCool and man, what a time it was. Hope you can tune into that. We do have a lot of fun. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.